Hello guys, and welcome to MetaSpeema. Today's video is a quick Q&A, as some of you have been asking me questions lately. Um, I'm sorry I haven't been able to answer all of them, because some of them I've actually forgotten. <laughs> um, yeah, some of you asked ages ago. If you want to see my last Q&A, look back about three months ago and you'll see my last one, which was my first talk actually speaking to camera. If you want to see my last Q&A video, um, just look back in the um, the video list and search about three months ago. Um, it was also celebrating me um, turning over the, oh, clocking over the 2000 mark. I shall leave a link down in the description box down below. Um, bear in mind of me because I'm not very good at remembering questions. Um, someone called N Nuno Garcia. I apologise if I said that wrong. Um, I'm not very good with... Um, names. Um, he asked a few questions. The first question was, what tyres do I use in winter? Well, the tyres I use in winter, one second, just trying to find it on my phone because it's a very strange name. When I got the car it was summer, so the car was sitting on summer tyres. and But the person who sold the car to us um, threw in a set of winter tyres, which were known as which are, which are known as Tunga Nordway 4s. That's all I know about them. For me, these studded tyres are quite good. Um, they do what they're supposed to do. Um, I've not lost control of the car. Obviously, um, if you drive in deep snow, you'll get stuck. But driving on the road, I have no issues at all. Um, sometimes, if the road has a layer of ice on top, you will scrabble. In other words, you're the studs on the tyres will try and um, dig into the um, ice to, to gain traction, but that's it. I also believe that the price of them aren't too expensive um, compared to my run-flat tyres. The issue is though, um, I don't have a spare, and obviously um, in the F20s there's no space for spare, so it's a bit of a nightmare really. Um, not having a, a real well for the um, tyres. The second question from Nano is, do I ever use chains on my tyres? And the answer is no. I've never used chains on my tyres in my life. Back in England, um, it's illegal to have chains on your tyres. And in Russia, um, they're very good at clearing the road. Um, so my studded tyres are perfect enough. The other question is, have I ever considered changing my standard halogen bulbs for LEDs or HID bulbs? And the answer there too is, I haven't yet. I've heard people um, complaining that when they change the LED bulbs, that they have error messages on the computer. I think they get errors because um, an LED bulb takes less current than a normal bulb. And um, when it draws less current, the computer thinks there's an issue and says that bulb was missing. So I think you need to get the bulbs coded to the vehicle, but I am not sure. But now I've been asked this question, I've been thinking, should I get some new bulbs, HID or LED bulbs? What do you recommend um, for me to have? At the moment, I don't really want to spend loads of money on new headlights. Um, if, any, if, if anything, I'd rather upgrade my 1 Series to a higher model. But, um, yeah... But, if you want to ask someone who will more likely know than me, um, as he does all these mods to his car, go over to my friend Michael's YouTube channel about the F21 series, which is called Bimmer Belgium. Yes, he spelled it correct, Bimmer, not Beamer like me. If you decide to subscribe to my friend's channel, say that Matt's Beamer sent you. The next question is from Neo Adam, who says, Please do a video about the best and most performance slash reliable winter tyres for the F20 and also about fitting snow chains. Um, okay, <laughs> um, tyres aren't really my um, forte. Um, the best channel that I've used for looking at reviews and tyres is a channel called Tyre Reviews. I think he's got about 73,000 subscribers and he... Um, and he's also been on big YouTubers' channels like TGE TV. So he's um, quite well known. The next question he asked was, do I have two sets of wheels 
um, one for each set of tyres? And the answer is no. On my car, I take my tyres off each time. But I want to buy um, an, a set of alloys for my summer tyres. It, it works out quite expensive after a while. Keep swapping the tyres over on the wheels. So if I just buy a set of alloy wheels, it will save me time and money in the long run. Um, but can I have two sets of alloys in my car? Another subscriber to my channel answered my question, as I wasn't sure. He says, um, his name is Street675. So thank you, Street675. So Street said, he has two sets of wheels, one with a set of winter tyres and the other with a set of summer tyres. And um, each set of wheels has their um, own um, sensors for the tyres. He says, all you have to do is to change the tyres over and reset the tyre pressure monitoring system, which is the longer version for TPMS. Um, so that's something I'm looking into seriously now. So if you know any alloy wheels that would be decent for the F20, which are um, the proper BMW ones, um, please let me know. Um, obviously the roads in Moscow aren't great, so I don't want um, weak alloys which will crack straight away. I know that some BMW alloys from the manufacturer do crack quite easy. So um, unfortunately I can't have any um, thin spoked alloys even though I prefer them. He also asked, um, how do I look after my spare set of tyres um, which aren't in use? And that's a good question because I never actually realised how much there is to um, store in your old tyres. As it's quite an important topic, I shall make a special video for you and others um, very, very soon. Especially as I have to change over to my winter tyres very soon, as it's supposed to snow soon. So, keep an eye out. Thank you. Um, I, don't, I don't know if I'm saying this name properly, but um, Eric Tush from Kenya bought a white BMW 2012 116i from Japan. He loves the car so much, but there's an issue with it. He says there's a creaking and knocking noise coming from the steering rack. Yes, apparently this is a very common issue on the F20 and F21 series, the earlier ones, from the bottom of the range up to the top. Um, some people have had to have their racks replaced, but um, people like me, who took their car back in February to get the ejectors cleaned, um, was told that mine was okay and they checked the bolts to make sure they're good enough for the um, for driving. But mine never had any issues like noises or bangings or anything. Um, but to be honest, I recommend you go into your local dealership and speak to them, um, to like your service manager. Hopefully um, it's a recall item. Uh, my my dealership checked mine for free. My dealership in Russia. I'm sorry, I'm not much used there, Eric Tush. And sorry once again for taking so long to answer. I've been um, in Greece and been very busy with my life lately. I, I apologise for, for, for I apologise for taking so long and for not being that useful to you. Say hi, which is a um, another subscriber. He said he asks if I've had any issues with my turbo, or had any major maintenance done to the car. Um, I've had no issues with my turbo yet, um, but I will need to do a video on the turbo soon. Um, thank you for giving me that idea. I need to look into the maintenance on the turbo because this is actually the first car I've ever owned that has a turbo. So stay tuned. Thank you. Um, uh -huh. Lie and Reality asks if driving his BMW F10 5 Series in eco mode all the time will cause issues in the future. Um, <laughs> I'm not sure what to say on this one. Um, I have obviously, um, I drove my F20 in eco mode for about a year. Um, just to save a few pence on petrol um, and also um, seeing how much I could save um, and it did save quite a bit really considering the petrol is cheap anyway um, but uh, 
but the money I saved on the um, fuel cost me elsewhere because um, driving like a granny um, with eco mode um, caused me to have issues with my injectors getting clogged up because um, I wasn't giving it enough oomph apparently. My local dealership recommended that I put the car in sports mode and um, booted it everywhere for a while to get rid of the um, the carbon build up. I also have to put additives to the um, petrol to help um, to help prevent this issue again. So for me, in eco mode, it didn't save me money in the long term. But then again, petrol's cheap in England, where the fuel is quite expensive. There's a man picking his nose. Yes, where's gone? So, in England, where the fuel is quite expensive, you are bound to save a lot more money. My car costs about 22 to 25 pounds to fill up for a full tank, which is excellent. But um, I just wanted to see how the car um, behaved over that time period. And nowadays, I just leave it in comfort mode um, as I don't get to drive the car fast and I keep to the city streets. Another reason I don't put it in eco mode is I hate start stop. Um, Casey for real. Hello again, buddy. <laughs> he asks, how oh, he says, thank you so much for the um, Porsche Cayman videos. He enjoyed them. And he is asking when the Lamborghini is coming. And um, I think, don't quote me on this, that the Lamborghini will come soon. Uh, my friend sent me a video of the car coming out the garage. As it's been sat in the garage, getting repaired all year. Um, had the clutch done and all that kind of stuff. And they had to wait for certain parts. And they had to wait for the special Lambigo Lambig Lamborghini diagnostics machine. And all that kind of stuff. Yeah, but that's coming soon, Casey, for real. Maybe today. Uh, my friend messaged me last night and he says, Matt, can you um, look after my Lamborghini for a while? So, fingers crossed. Guello boy, um, he says, do I have any mods planned for my F20? And um, <laughs> I've always wanted to mod a car. I've never modded one before. Um, I don't think I will add any performance things to this car as... Obviously, I'm in Moscow, and you can't drive anywhere fast anyway, even though you see the, all these videos on YouTube of them driving like idiots. Um, so, I'll keep my engine standard, but I would like to um, buy a set of alloys for this car, and um, if I get time, I would like to buy myself a body kit for this car, the M-Tech one. Um... I'm not too keen on going aftermarket as um, I don't know the, how well the body kits will fit the car and um, I just prefer the original. Um, I would like to upgrade um, certain interior aspects of the car. I would like to add some nice colour leather seats. I would like to add some of the sportier trims like carbon fibre. Um, maybe I'll try and fit a, um Android iDrive system. Um, kind of thing. Um, obviously my car does not have iDrive so um, I can't fit the upgraded iDrive without the original stuff there which is a shame really because I've always wanted my own car with iDrive and um, since my dad bought his 2003 7 series back in 2004. Okay. Henry Healy asks does the pre-LCI F20 just have one reverse light? And the answer is yes. Oh, and my brother just asked. <laughs> he says, Hello, brother. Um, where is a good place to advertise my Mark 2.5 Ford Focus? Um, my brother has a very nice Ford Focus Mark 2.5. Um, two litre titanium. It's absolutely gorgeous and in good condition. Um, he's had it for many years now. In fact, it's one of the most watched videos on my channel where I did a in-depth tour on it. 
Um, if I will leave a link down below. But anyway, my brother wants to sell it, and um, if any of you are interested, um, please let me know. I don't know the price on that, but I shall find out for you, or pass on his um, email address. When I used to sell cars for my friends in England, um, just as a hobby, I used to sell... The, the place I got most attention from was um, a small company called The Friday Ad. I don't know if it's across the whole of Britain now, but um, I remember selling my um, mum's other half's um, E46 3 Series for a lot more than what he was trying to sell it for. And... Um, his Defender sold straight away. All my BMWs sold within the first week. Um, yeah, it's pretty good. And also, it's free. If you um, just do the online version. But sometimes, um, when their paper is quiet, they put your um, advert into print, which is very, very useful. Um, there's also places like the Auto Trader, Piston Heads, which cost money. Um, there's eBay. Um, what else is there? Craigslist. I never use Craigslist though. And yeah, and um, the most important thing is to take beautiful photos because because one of my pet hates about people taking photos of their cars for selling is um, bad photos. Um, a few years ago. My neighbour had a dodgy starter motor on her E90 325i and I did a repair video on that car. Then she asked if I could sell it. So I said, OK, please get me some nice photos and I'll do it for you. She, cle um, she cleaned the car up nice. It looked very, very good. But the photos she took were awful. She like took a picture of half the door. Um, she took a picture of the rear half of the car, not even the rear quarter, just just like where the fuel cap is, uh, the interior is through the glass. It was like um, she didn't. It was like she didn't actually own the car, and um, the way she wrote the advert was not good at all. It was just like um, very, very um, short, and um, there was no information about the history or the maintenance or even what colour the car was. And another thing she did was <laughs> she put it in. Um, not under BMW, she put it under, I think it's BAW, I think it's BAW, which I think is a Chinese truck company. So, yeah, that never sold in the end, and she still has it, and it's still going well. Um, yeah, so, if you want to sell a car, make sure you do it properly, um, give as much information as you can, and no fanny in the belt, basically. Anyway, any more questions? No. Thank you so much for watching this video. Um, have, I will do another Q&A soon. Um, I've just passed the 2,500 subscribers, um, which is great. And I want to say a big thank you to you all. I would never... Um, you motivate me to do more videos. I'm sorry that I've been quiet on the video front lately. It's just that um, it's quite hard to do um, maintenance videos on the F20 for now as... Um, our little daughter baby, a little baby daughter, takes up time and a lot, a lot of time. And also, at the moment, I'm having issues with my back. And um, when it's cold, uh, my joints and my fingers aren't working properly, which is not good since I'm only 35 years old. So, so I feel like an old man. Anyway, thank you for watching this video. If you want to see more F20, F21 1 Series videos, please like and share and subscribe. If you want to see any other cars, um, also subscribe because I like um, doing videos on any car especially cars that I don't own because I love researching about cars and hopefully soon the video on the Cayman S Porsche Edition 1 will go up and hopefully 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 the Lamborghini Gallardo will come to my house today for a few weeks I'm very excited about that one as I have always loved Lamborghini Prefer, I prefer them to a Ferrari. Um, what do you think? Ferrari or Lamborghini? Which one do you like? I might have just said it, but my brain's turned into a, um, a goldfish brain. If you have any questions on this car, uh, if you have any questions for me about the 1 Series, about BMWs in general, or cars in general, or just um, 
general things about my channel, please um, comment down below and ask. Um, I'm sorry if I forget your question in the future. Um, that's how my brain works. Um, anyway, take care and hopefully I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.